The following question discuss the types of innovations, bid'ah, and what is the proof for the validity of the innovation of guidance. Linguistically, the innovation bid'ah is something newly introduced for which there is no previous example. Religiously, al-bid'ah is of two types, an innovation of guidance, al-bid'atu al-hasana, and an innovation of misguidance, al-bid'atu al-sayyi'a. Allah Ta'ala said, وَرَهْبَانِيَّةً ابْتَدَعُوهَا مَا كَتَبْنَاهَا عَلَيْهِمْ إِلَّا بِتِغَاءَ رِضْوَانِ اللَّهِ This ayah in Surah Al-Hadid reports about the true followers of Prophet Isa alayhi salam. And it means the state of abstinence from the worldly pleasures and dedication to worship, and that is called Rahbaniyya, which they innovated for themselves, Allah did not ordain it upon them. They embraced it only to seek reward from their Lord. So Allah Azza wa Jal praised the actions of these true followers of Jesus alayhi salam for detaching themselves from the permissible pleasures only in a quest of reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also the hadith narrated by Imam Muslim in which the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever innovates a good innovation in Islam will have its reward and a similar reward of those who practice it until the day of judgment without the lessening of their reward. Also the companions and those who followed them introduced many innovations in Islam. The Muslim nation received these innovations with acceptance. Such innovations include having al-mihrab in each mosque, which is the wall cavity in the direction of the qibla. Also additional call for the Friday prayer and the commemoration of the birth of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. All these are classified as good innovations in Islam.